Hey guys, so hey, I thought I would record a video today to just give you some of the differences of why we are absolutely not in a housing bubble in 2019. This is the differences between 2005, which of course all of you know led to 2007 and the great crash in 2008, okay? So let's get started. So in 2019, or in 2019, down payments basically are required on almost all mortgages and they build in equity, okay? In 2005, there was 100% financing everywhere. People were financing homes, no money down, no equity to start. These weren't even grant programs. No one had any skin in the game, okay? So in 2019, principal and interest payments for building equity, and principal and interest meaning we're going to do regular payments. In 2005, Interest only payments were rampant everywhere. It was so scary. People were going to do a 15 year loan with interest only at a 10 year balloon, meaning, guess what? In 10 years, they got to pay back the entire balance of the mortgage. It was insanity. Okay. So, fixed rates always, payments don't adjust. And that's something that I've really focused on as a mortgage banker and as a professional is making sure that I'm doing loans that are good for my customers. I very rarely ever offer um, adjustable rates because fact is they're just not that great. So back then, adjustable rates were everywhere and most loans were adjustable. You knew that as soon as someone got a loan, that's why the 2012, it all caught up three years later, People everywhere lost their homes. It was really scary. So next one, more cash transactions are happening in 2019 as a whole. Lots of cash transactions. Back then, there was barely any cash transactions taking place. In 2019 also, appraisers answer to underwriters and their valuations, and they're separated from me as a loan officer and from the real estate agents. This is really important, you guys, because it was really bad back in 2005. Literally, an appraiser would come to appraise a house and they'd be so scared to give it a bad appraisal or they'd know that they could get a lot more business from that realtor or loan officer if they kept giving them good appraisals that they would inflate the values higher and higher and higher till that entire community would crash, which devastated our nation. This is one of the top reasons and one of the top items for 2008 why we crashed. And it's, it's really scary. That and not enough skin in the game. So the next one, more stable buyers, and we have improving credit all over the place. Our buyers are so much stabler in 2019. We really scrutinize people before they're allowed to get financing, and we can help you through the process if you decide to get a mortgage and make sure that you're getting the right financing and you're doing it the right way. Back then, <laughs> excuse me, unstable buyers, really no credit, no problem situation. Ready? Oh, if you got a pulse, you're approved. I'm sure some of you have probably heard that term and it really was true. It was pretty scary. We had pizza boys that were making seven bucks an hour that were buying half million dollar homes. You know, like the movie they had, there was literally strip dancers in Florida that owned five separate houses. So on to the next one, double escrows or really intent to occupy with a renter or an owner. And we make sure that every person that buys a home has an intent to occupy the property. There was a lot of straw buyers is what we call them back in 2005. And this was people purchasing homes that had no reason. They weren't gonna live in that house. They were buying that home in another state. They'd never even seen it before. And then someone else was gonna try to sell it for even more equity, get an appraiser to really up that value. And then they were gonna try to flip it, which the banks got a lot of bad loans that way, which you saw a lot of them close down because of it. So <clears throat> the next one is double escrows were rampant and double escrows being rampant is really hard. Um, escrows buying and selling the same property in the same day, it was nuts. A lot of title companies, a lot of bad things were done. So double escrows are highly scrutinized nowadays in 2019. And we really focus making sure that there's full disclosure to all parties and if allowed at all, they are all verified, okay? In 2019, the job growth in health, financial, and tech industries is booming. It's amazing. All of you know this. Our economy is doing really well. 
And that's a big sign because these industries for health, financial, and tech are moving quickly, would generate a lot of revenue, which flows downstream to the rest of you know, our communities. So job growth in real estate, construction, and tourism were the major growth areas in 2005. And you can see that it was construction, real estate, and tourism, which they all fell apart for those. So this is why we are not in a housing bubble. Things are very secure this year, and I really wanna thank you for your time and watching this video. Um, if you're thinking of buying or selling or refinancing any kind of real estate, please feel free to contact me for any questions. I work in Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming, and it's always a pleasure to serve. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Take care.